The Tab S11 Ultra has arrived and it has completely changed Samsung DeX. But is it for the better? Let's go. Two years ago now, when Samsung brought One UI 6 to the tablet range, they revamped DeX and added a new option called New DeX alongside Classic DeX. I was very skeptical of their intentions at the time because renaming something classic kind of indicates that you're ready to get rid of it and make it old. Started to use it, I could kind of see what their intentions were. At the time, I thought really they should just make this the base UI for the tablets and then have DeX as an option you can add in. Well, that's kind of what's happened. That new DeX is now here, but instead of being called new DeX, it's just called desktop workspaces and it's replaced classic DeX on the tablets. Let me show you how it's going to work. You can activate it in a couple of different ways, but the easiest way really is just when you activate the recent apps menu, you can see a plus button to add a new desktop or a new desktop workspace. You can add up to four desktop workspaces and they are different to standard One UI in how they operate. There is also a button inside the quick panel where you can program that button to launch desktop workspaces. By default, we'll launch wireless decks to launch and sort of plug into a monitor. Plug in, wireless doesn't plug anything. Wirelessly plug in whatever. You can, inside the DeX menu, program that to launch DeX desktop workspace. And if you have the keyboard cover, you can use the key on the keyboard to activate desktop workspaces too. Just a quick word on the keyboard. It is phenomenal. Samsung have really made this keyboard work great. It's got great travel. The keys are really nice and spaced out. I'm actually really enjoying it. Let me know too, and this might be hard, if you want me to compare the Tab S11 Ultra with the keyboard cover to a proper laptop, like the Book 4 Edge, for example. I think that might be a bit of a fun comparison. Let me know in the comments. So once you have this workspace open, what can you actually do in here and how does it differ from standard One UI? First, you notice immediately that the taskbar shrinks really small down to the bottom and it bunches up and centralizes. It ends up becoming like a permanent part of the experience. Again, mimicking like what a desktop PC would look like with your taskbar down the bottom. Apps default to opening in a windowed environment. So they won't launch in full screen. If you open something, it'll open windowed again kind of like a Windows PC would. You've got plenty of toggles and, and buttons to make things full screen and snap things left and right of the display and make it f smaller, minimize, all that sort of stuff is all there at the top of the bar. What doesn't change though, compared to classic decks, is that you don't actually lose your home screen, your wallpapers or your arrangements. They all stay the same. Everything, your quick panel too, all remains as it was from standard One UI. The benefit to this is you don't have to get used to different home screens and arrangements. Everything can stay as it was and you're in a place that's familiar, but also more productive. So whilst you might be questioning, well, I'd like to have things set up differently in different workspaces, you still can because you can have different apps stored open in them and then switch between them when you need to access them already open. So if you wanted to have a workspace for note-taking, keep it Samsung Notes, app open in one and you can go back to it. But if you wanted to have one for entertainment, for like YouTube, have one open for that too. It just gives you that flexibility. So you can have your different environments and then flick between them as you need them. And it's real easy to switch between them too, because you just go to the recent menu and swipe between the workspaces and you can see the apps that are open and stored in them to switch them when you need them. And then if you don't need a workspace, simply close it. I really do like the concept Samsung have gone with here because it basically works in conjunction with One UI Home and then you've got the desktop workspaces, which kind of seamlessly work together because you can bring an app from the workspace back into One UI Home very easily using the toggle at the top left corner of the app. There is no settings to change and no flexibility to customize how it all works. It is probably something I would like to see change in the future to give us a bit more options dragging between workspaces. But for now, it's a good way to start and hopefully they can build on it. If you do want to go back to main One UI and just sort of get that familiar experience back, it's very easy to do that too. Again, go back to the recents menu. You can either click anywhere on the recents menu of apps that are open in standard One UI or just open an app from One UI. And it'll take you back there. You can also just toggle decks off in the quick panel or with the keyboard and it'll switch between the different environments. What I'm probably most excited to see is how this interacts with a display. When I looked at One UI 8 on a early build with Tab S9 Ultra, there was an option to flow things between displays. So I'm curious to see how that's going to work. So let's actually go set that up now and check that out. Okay, I'm sitting in front of my Tab S11 Ultra and my monitor. And I want to show now how the new Samsung DeX on the Tab S11 Ultra 
can actually work to interact between the two displays because they can now. So I'll plug this in. This is gonna launch Samsung DeX Classic, the new one on One UI 8 on the monitor. And now I have the two interfaces together. So what you'll notice immediately is that this stays as the desktop mode or the desktop version that I've got. I think I've got desktop one open here. Yep, that's correct. And then I've got Samsung DeX up the top and Samsung DeX has everything. It's got all your taskbar and everything down the bottom there, which is great. It's exactly what we want. And then it means that I can now start to use the two displays interactively. So let's just open an app down on the bottom here in standard, I guess, One UI or the new version of DeX that's on here. Let's just say, for example, I want to now take this to the bigger display. Well, there's a couple of ways you can do that. The first is in this top corner here of YouTube, I can hit send to other display, and then it literally will just send it to the other display. And if I want to, I can even send this back the other way, or if I hit this again and go send to other display, it goes back there. There's also a new tab in here called restart app to optimize layout. So because it's bouncing between the two displays, at least I guess for now, it seems like it might not optimize for the new layout of the display it's being sent to. So if I send it here, you're going to have to restart app to optimize layout. Now, I wonder if there's going to be a toggle where it can always do that, because that would be quite annoying if you have to do that every single time, but at least there's an option to do it. Now that's probably the convoluted way because you have to hit buttons but if you just want to do it seamlessly i can just pick it up on the screen here drag it down and then it's there when i tested this on the early build of one ui 8 on the tapestine ultra that didn't work so now you're able to drag apps from one display and take it to the other now i obviously am dragging from the bottom to the top but obviously that can be different. So I can go into settings and I can go into the settings app. Let's bring it onto the bigger screen here and let's make this full screen. And let's go to connected devices and go to Samsung DeX. And if I go to connected display, I can then drag this wherever it is in conjunction with the display. So if it's to the left, it'll be to the left. If it's to the right, I'll drag it to the right. And if it's at the bottom like it is now, I'll drag it centrally to the bottom and I can go back and forth between the two displays. There is a toggle here as well to flow pointer to tablet. So if I want to make sure that that tablet can get the, the mouse and I can go flow it to the top as well, that needs to be turned on to do that. Now, in terms of what this new DeX and One UI 8 can do, well, it's basically the same as I've already shown. One UI 8 DeX is, is pretty intensely upgraded. There's a lot of cool new stuff in there. But the big one is the fact that you've got the new app drawer, which is not a full screen version anymore. And on the tablets, you can also have multiple desktops. So I can have four desktops up open on the tablet, tablet screen, on the DeX screen, on the monitor, and have up to four open on here. Now I should highlight desktop two here is the one that had YouTube open, which was the desktop two I had over here. So if I go back to the top and go to desktop two, you can see that that's grayed out. That is currently what's active over here. So to make this work, I can't flow between two of the same desktop versions. I have to pick a different one. So I have to go to desktop one. So I've got desktop two open down the bottom and desktop one open at the top. The other limitation that I found is if I'm in just standard One UI, so if I swipe up to go to recents and go across here and bring standard One UI back, if I try and flow an app from this screen to this one, it won't work. So I'll open up my files here and I'll just drag it down. It has to be dragged into a desktop. So that, what I did just then, was drag it into desktop two, and then I can bring it back into desktop three, which is the one that's at the top. But if I were to try and let's say, go back to standard one UI here, and then try and drag the My Files app down, there's nowhere it can go. It doesn't actually go anywhere. It just stays on the desktop three screen. I have to go back into one of the free desktop screens that I have open, and then I can drag it down. 
and that's how the new decks kind of interacts with each other. In terms of the rest of decks, you can go check out how One UI 8 has transformed Samsung decks in another video, because I've already done it. But in terms of how it works between this screen and that screen, that's how it all works. Make sure you hit subscribe to take with benefits because I'm going to use the Tavo Seven Ultra a bit more in depth and definitely showcase how this workflow can potentially replace a tablet in its full review. And I'll see you guys in the next one. You.